Val Orlico of Winnipeg, Canada, the wife of a member of the Canadian Parliament, was a patient of Dr. Cameron's. She entered the Allen Memorial Institute because of severe depression. She describes for the first time publicly the LSD therapy and psychic driving treatment that she was given by Dr. Cameron. And then the drug began to take hold very rapidly because it was an IV injection and um, things became very furry and uh, very frightening and uh, had a lot of sensations that it's very difficult to recall. Nobody explained it to me. Nobody ever asked me if I was willing to do it. Or I thought this was the coldest and most impersonal treatment that anybody could give to anybody in the world. And I became more and more despondent and more and more angry. I just became so despondent that I thought I can't, I can't live like this any longer. And I thought I would just go out and throw myself underneath the cars on McGregor. I stood on the curb of that street and, and I stood there and I thought, okay, go, okay, go. And then I thought, what if you're not killed? What if you're just maimed? What if you don't die and you live and you can't even talk anymore? And I couldn't do it. They cried and they were very disoriented. And we were very afraid of the sleep room. We used to walk very carefully against the side of the corridor that was opposite the sleep room with our backs to the wall when we... Well, I'm glad he was concerned for the staff. But damn it all, I, I wouldn't... I, I, I could have maybe had a different kind of life. And that makes me angry and sad and I don't know what, how to explain how I feel, really. I just, I just... <laughs> how did you feel when you learned that Dr. Cameron's experimentation was financed by the CIA? Well, I thought... Oh, I can't even use the word <laughs> that I thought. <laughs> because I thought, that bastard. And he was too smart. To, he knew. He knew who he was working for. And, um, excuse me, but, um, I just, you know, I just can't, sometimes I can't believe it. And yet I know it's true. If you had the opportunity to say something to the people at the Central Intelligence Agency who financed this study, what would you say? I, I realize the CIA is a very important organization and they have a very important job to do. But God, it surely doesn't have to be done on people who are totally incapable of knowing what's happening or having any defense against it. And I, I, I can't imagine the mentality of people who would do this. I just can't.